Hey guys, I am getting sick or I'm kind of sick right now, um, but I do want to get these messages out for you. Sorry, I'm not singing the intro right now. I am stuffed up. My throat is sore, but it's been um, a lot of message coming through as I've been busy and I want to get on here and let you guys know. So the first message, if you are currently pregnant and you're about to have a baby, if you are currently in the hospital right now, or you just had a baby, please do a DNA test. Make sure that they did not swap your baby. All right, that is a very, very big thing that's going on that is not being talked about, okay, in hospitals. So if you're planning to have a baby, you can do a home birth if you have the strength to do that. If not, be very precautious, okay? And definitely notice any type of birthmarks, skin tags, any type of um, special teas when it comes to your baby when you're doing skin to skin so that you can identify that this is your baby, especially right after you give birth or right after they do the, the C-section. They give you skin to skin, so evaluate your baby. So that way you can be like, no, my baby had a birthmark on their foot or on their left leg or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Be very alert because baby swapping is very, very common in hospitals, okay? I'm also hearing if you chose to go to, I'm hearing, um, Ancestria.com, right? You want to know about your lineage, your ancestors, your background. You're going to find out that you were swapped at birth. And your original parents that you have grown to know, grown to love, are not your original parents. And it's not their fault at all. You were swapped at birth. For some, you were taken from a nurse. From others, this is a, I'm hearing... An underground business that has been going on for a long time. Okay? And Spirit is saying that if you are the victim of this, definitely tell your story. But you can choose to find your birth parents. Some birth parents may already be deceased depending on your age. And for others, you your birth parents is still alive and you're able to, you know, connect with them. If you do your research, you know, tracking down your real biological parents, if that's what you want, you know, uh, figuring out where they live at, um, where some of you guys were actually born. OK, because I heard falsified birth certificates, records, documents when it came to you. This was either a purposeful swapping or this was, you know, very, very common in this particular hospital that you were born in, okay? Or that you may be having a baby in. So be very, very careful, okay? So if you are pregnant right now, right? If you are in the hospital, you're about to give birth. If you're thinking about getting pregnant with your partner, be very, very careful, okay? Because even though... This baby may grow up within your household and you may have similarities because, as they say, when you live with someone, you start to look like them. But you'll start to realize as this beautiful baby grows into a child, grows into a teenager, grows into an adult, they don't look like you. They don't look like your person. They don't act like you. They don't resemble any type of characteristics from you, your mother, your father, from your person's mother, father, or them at all. And then you're wondering, like, what is going on, right? And the crazy part is why I was pushed so heavily to put this story out, whether I'm sick or not, is <laughs> because to confirm, not only in my dreams did I get a dream about this, but when I woke up from the dream, I wound up like clicking a story by accident because I was on Facebook and it was pretty much a story of a husband getting a DNA test of the child that him and his wife shared and the child came up not his but the wife never cheated and it's because the baby was swapped when they were in the hospital and the wife couldn't like wrap her brain around it because she's never cheated and the husband's ready to get a divorce and in an uproar. So if this is concurring in your marriage, 
get a DNA test because the baby was swapped. And they wound up suing the hospital and other, you know, things that went along with that story. But if you are deciding to have a baby, try to do home birth, right? If you feel like you are completely different from your family members and you're like, I don't know what it is. You feel like the black sheep. You feel like you don't belong there. That's not your family, baby. That's not. And I think you should... Go ahead and get an ancestral test to truly see who your parents is and who your ancestral lineage, lineage is. Excuse me, I am so stuffed up, y'all. But this is the message. All right, so if you're having kids in the future, be very, very precautious because baby swapping is on the rise. If you're about to have a baby, be very precautious. And if you were a victim of baby swapping, definitely get a DNA test to see who your real parents is what your true background is and i know it's going to be heartbreaking maybe you guys just did an ancestry test or a dna test just for the hell of it just for fun with someone that you are close with a friend a family member of sorts and you're going to find this out okay maybe you and your person wanted to dig deeper into you know your lineage right where you guys come from and you may find this out. Some of you guys may find this out unexpectedly. Some of you guys are, you know, digging. And you're going to get that letter in the mail, the true document, your true birth certificate. All right. And the person that was your original parents, I'm hearing, don't blame them. They didn't know. Okay. If you want, you can try to sue the hospital. Okay. For negligence. And, um... Theft, kidnapping, okay, I'm hearing, okay? I really feel like a nurse did it, all right? Um, oof, man, I'm getting another message. Um, oof. I'm hearing your parents' original child was kidnapped by a nurse that couldn't have a child. So they took your parents' original child and swapped you out uh, because you were going to be put in the system up for adoption. I'm hearing, okay? Whew, that's a heavy, this is a heavy message, all right? So just please protect your children, protect yourself, all right? If you are a victim, protect your future children. And um, I'm praying that your parents are still alive. If they're not, they are with you in spirit. But please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you know when your girl posting. All right, you know I love you to life. Be safe out here. Please, you know, watch after the babies. Until next time.